I want to briefly talk about cigar mold. <clears throat> I'm in the middle of uh, packing my humidor. I just got a big shipment, and um, I shouldn't be keeping this lid open for as long as I am. But you know, I'll get this all done. And uh, a few of my cigars have arrived with a little bit of mold on them. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to focus on it. Let me go out into the better light. Okay. Let me see if I can focus on it. Jeez. The iPhone camera sucks. Well, you get the idea. See that little white speck of mold? That's actually mold. Now, when you go into cigar shops, golly, this, I really thought it would focus. When you go into cigar shops, um, sometimes you're gonna have a, you're gonna see this on a cigar. And if, if the person selling it to you is really unscrupulous, he's gonna say, no, 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 that's not mold. That's just plume. That's the, that's the plume that naturally appears on a cigar. You don't need to worry about it. Now, the difference between mold and plume is that plume is the crystallization of the oils that are naturally in the cigar. Wow, it really does get blurry as it gets closer. And uh, it, it forms on the outside wrapper of a cigar, and it looks kind of like a, a sparkly crystal powder. But that's entirely different from this. This little dot of white mold is just on the tip. And I don't see it anywhere else on the cigar. And if it were plume, it would be all over the cigar. But here's the real test. If you really want to know if it's mold or if it's plume, try and wipe it off. If it's mold, it wipes right off. If it's plume, and I think I'm using the right word, <clears throat> then it's a, it's a, uh, it's a crystal that has a, that is accrued on the wrapper of the cigar and it's, it's, it's actually kind of sticky and it's hard to get off and you can scrape it off, but you could, you, you tend to damage the cigar. Now, as you can see, the mold just scraped right off. It's right there on my belly. I'm gonna have to wash this and it's just a light feathering. Now molding comes in different uh, degrees of horribleness. Yeah, I know my garage is messy. I'm in the middle of unpacking, so forgive me. But um, if you find your cigar has mold there on the, the, but the butt of it, on the end of it where you light it, then your cigar is ruined and you have to throw it away. The mold will get in between the leaves and it just ruins it. But if it's just on the outside wrapper, you have to make a decision. Some people just can't stand the thought of it and they throw their cigars away. I don't really care. I wipe it off. It's gone. I'm sure there's probably still something on there at the nano level or whatever, but the microscopic level, but it's, it doesn't bother me all that much. So that's just how I do it. Remember, if the mold appears on the inside, if that portion of it has mold in it, then uh, you need to throw it away. That's just, it's a ruined cigar, there's no saving it. But if it's just on the outside wrapper, and if it's such a small amount, like what we just talked about, just wipe it off, inspect it, and you're good to go. That's how you deal with mold on cigars.